So we're going to begin the paint process on these wooden glide baits. I already painted the bottom white to cover up the lead holes and all the drilling that I did. Uh, these have uh, two clear coats on them already and I'm going to paint on top of the clear coat. I cut out the stencil from some cardboard and I'm going to line it up with uh, about a eighth of an inch uh, from the bottom of the bait or the joint rather and then maybe like a quarter inch from the top of the bait uh, just to make a gill pattern I'm going to eyeball that and I've got black in the brush And as you can see, that made a great gill pattern. I'm going to make a dark eye spot. And I will flip it around, kind of eyeball where that eye is, rotate the bait. And put that same eyeball on that side. I'm going to clean my stencil. I'm going to flip it so that way everything is even. I'm going to do that same measurement from the back of the joint and the top of the bait. And as you can see that kind of lines up perfectly. And that's going to give me an even gill plate on either side. I'm going to darken up the top of this. Just to give my head a little bit of definition. I'm going to take some mesh. And I'm going to wrap it around the bait. Grip it nice and tight. And peel it off. Perfect scale pattern. Okay. And the final thing I'm going to do is put some kanji on here. Now this kanji, uh, it's not my name or anything important. But it is kind of funny to me. So if you ask a Japanese person what this means, uh, they might give you a couple of different definitions. But the general idea is that it means uh, delicious, or tasty, or yum. And that's what I'm hoping that the fish will think when they see this bait.
there we go. Painting on this is complete. Now I've done this for all four of them now. Uh, it's just a very, very basic paint job. I'm going to do uh, painted eyes for all of them. And I'll do that off camera and I'll show you guys the results. A really great tip that I got about making eyes was from Twitter. And a Japanese guy was using Q-tips uh, to make perfect circles on the bait with the end of the Q-tip. You just dip the end in the paint, dot on the bait, and you're done. These are ready for their final clear coat, and I think that they're going to look at really, really good once they're finished. Uh, we know that they swim great, so... Now we just have to try and catch fish with them. It was a nice sunny day, so I got some clear coat on these. Time to put the hooks on and finish them up.